Well, obviously I started off playing rugby union down at uh, Percy Park and that was pretty much all I did really. And then over the summer, one of, one of my coaches, Bill, he'd asked if I wanted to play some rugby league over the summer because his son played and uh, it was just for fitness really, just like come down, it's, it's another level of fitness, like you'll, you'll work on your skills and everything. So I went down, tried it out. I didn't have a clue about the rules, so I just like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I played a couple of years, but in the end I, hadn't, I didn't really enjoy it as much because I didn't really know what was going on. I was just sort of turning up. Um, so then I had a bit of a break and then uh, a couple of my other mates from Bursley Park were then playing at Crammy and uh, they just asked if I wanted to go along and I thought, yeah, I'll give it another shot. So then, for, and then from then on I was just playing at Crammy for a couple of years. My first game was around under 14s for Crammy, and I think I, I think I, I must have played quite well because Jordan had asked if I wanted to come down to a couple of the development sessions um, for the under 14. It might have been under 15, um, and then obviously did a bit of a bit of a pre-season in and out with the training, and then I think the first game was against Cumbria, Cumbria Storm um, at home, and then had a, a relatively good season then, and just sort of it just went from there. I like the, the reward you get from, from working hard or, or giving an extra 5% or 10% to maybe tackle someone, score a try, all, all these different little things I think I find it personally rewarding and it, it's, it's good to see um, how it affects other people as well. Like I know my, I know my family, like they didn't care about rugby whatsoever until me and my brother started playing and now, and now they're rugby mad so it's, uh, that's, what, that's what makes me want to keep playing is to just see see that see them happy so I would be lying if I said I was a, if I was originally a Thunder fan because before before I played rugby league I, I hadn't hadn't heard and then when I was at Wall's End I had I did go watch a couple of the Gateshead Thunder games and we'd done a couple training sessions with Stanley Jean back when he was the coach um, and I still hadn't really because I, I didn't grasp the game, I wasn't really interested in watching it. Um, but then, once I started coming to training more at Thunder and we got the free tickets through the academy, I was like, well, I'll just come down. And then all of, all of the lads in the team were there every game and just became, just became a Thunder fan, really. And then it's just, it's just been beneficial as well that it's, it's so close to home and um, they've given me the opportunities that it has. At home, I just uh, I like to chill out. Um, I've, over the pre-season, I was uh, doing a bit of surfing down at <laughs> Tyremouth. It wasn't very good, but I did I did quite enjoy it. Um, I like I like a bit of golf. Um, I'm also not very good at that, but it's it's good. Just sort of the the team environment's really good. But then I, I also do like to sort of detach myself from that, work on stuff sort of individually, um, sort of them solo sports. And yeah, and then maybe cooking. Uh, over lockdown, I sort of developed a, a hobby of cooking. Whether it's good or not, well, my parents tell me it's good, but I haven't had any, I haven't had any external judgment yet, so <laughs> we'll see. So, speaking of lockdown, what could we get you doing for the um, Thunder's Got Talent? I remember you doing a video for that. Oh, yes, yeah, so, so I, I can play the drums. Um, uh, I, used to, I used to have lessons and practice every week, but now it's um, now it's just sort of a, a hobby now and then. Maybe I'll maybe I'll go upstairs and play on the electronic drum kit if, I, if I've got a bit of time. But it's it's not it's not something that I'm massively <laughs> into. <laughs>